Everybody likes to talk about a Roth IRA, but there's things that people don't know about a Roth IRA. Like, let me just get right to the point and tell you the first one. Did you know that you can actually withdraw your contributions before you even reach the age of 59 and a half without paying penalties or taxes? Anytime. You heard that right. That and so much more is going to be unpacked in today's video. What we're going to do is we're going to unpack the Roth IRA, things that you need to know, what exactly this is, and all those unique facts that you may not know about. So if you haven't gotten yourself a Roth IRA, you're probably going to run out and get one at the end of this video. So the best places to get them, places like Fidelity, you can get it over at Charles Schwab, you can get it on Weeble, a lot of different investment companies that offer a Roth IRA. Pick whichever one suits you best. The most important thing is you got to actually invest the money. So remember how I said you can contribute to a Roth IRA? Well, you're putting all this money into the Roth IRA, but then you actually got to say, here's where I want you to invest that money. It could be an ETF or a stock. If you're not sure how to start with that, I'll include some links to some videos in the description that talk about where you can invest your money into the stock market. But don't just put money into a Roth and let it sit there. Make it invested. So that way it earns you extra money. So yes, fact number one is that interesting part that you can withdraw your contributions at any time. That's the key word though, your contributions. Let's say you and I decide we're gonna invest $100 right now today into our Roth IRA. You put the $100 in and let's say in like five, 10, 12 months from now, we hit some issues. And for whatever reason, we gotta withdraw that $100 from our Roth IRA. Well, you can do that because that's your contribution. So you can withdraw it and not pay any penalties, not pay any taxes. Now with a traditional IRA or a 401k or something like that, oh, you're gonna get hit not only with taxes, but with a penalty for withdrawing early. Roth IRA for the win. Now let's say, for example, you got your $100 and over that period of time, it grew by an additional $5. Well, that's what you don't wanna touch. You can withdraw your 100 bucks, don't withdraw the $5 that are considered earnings because earnings would be subject to taxes and would be subject to a penalty. So the best way to do that is to always make sure that you're tracking how much you can invest in your Roth IRA. There is a maximum limit that you can invest per year and it goes up typically every year or two. So always check, go to Google and type in what is the maximum contribution to a Roth IRA in whatever year you're watching this video. And then it'll let you know what that is. Number two, there's no RMDs on a Roth IRA. RMD, that stands for Required Minimum Distributions. Now we're flash forwarding ahead in time. You're now 59 and a half, you're 60, you're 65, you're 70. The thing with a traditional IRA and most 401ks, 403bs, and other retirement accounts is they have a required minimum distribution. And the reason for that is uh, they're trying to get their tax money. See, a Roth IRA in retirement is tax-free. All the growth, all the money that you make out of the Roth IRA is tax-free because remember, you got taxed before you contributed in the first place. So that's what makes it highly beneficial. And at that case, on top of that, you can actually continue to invest in your Roth IRA well into age 70, 75, even 80 years old. If you wanna to continue to invest in your Roth IRA and not use that money for retirement, you're welcome to do that. But why would you wanna do that? Well, let's say you're making a lot of money on social security or other investments. Let's say you have a pension or you won the lottery and you don't really need your Roth IRA money. Well, you can continue to contribute to it Another great benefit, as I just mentioned, but then you can turn around and pass that down to your children or whoever you designate. That's interesting fact number three of the Roth IRA. See, your beneficiaries, meaning your children or whoever you identify who will take the money in your Roth IRA when you die, when you pass away, they inherit that account, but then they get to have tax-free distributions subject to certain rules, but that allows you to stretch out your tax-free growth over a beneficiary's lifetime and can have a significant advantage, especially for younger beneficiaries who have a longer life expectancy. Now they get the opportunity to basically inherit all your money and live off of that tax-free. What a great way to pass down future generational wealth. Number four, even better than number one, and that's you can withdraw both your earnings and your contributions in certain really cool circumstances. Let's talk through them. First, if you're age 59 and a half and you've had your Roth IRA for at least five years, known as the five-year rule, you can withdraw both your contributions and your earnings without any penalties or taxes. So once you hit that 59 and a half years old, 
You can withdraw anytime you want. You don't have to wait till like 65 or 70 or anything like that. But even better than that, before you get to that age, let's say you're only 35 and you got a lot of money in your Roth IRA and you want to buy yourself a brand new home, but you need a little bit more money for a down payment. Well, you can actually withdraw up to $10,000 from that Roth IRA in earnings as long as the money is used for a first time home purchase. Now, the account does have to meet the five year rule. So you got to have money in there and have the Roth are open for at least five years. And the funds that you withdraw up to $10,000 must be used within the first 120 days of your withdrawal. So make sure you time that correctly for your first home purchase so you can put that money down and take advantage of taking money out of your Roth without having to worry. And that's another great way to actually plan ahead for buying a house. Why not invest money into the Roth IRA, especially if you're younger, let the thing grow, and then just kind of play the game with it a little bit. Obviously, your goal will be that the investments will grow and you get tons of earnings, and then you have that $10,000 in the back of your mind for when you want to purchase your very first home. Another thing is it disability. Now, I don't want this to happen to anybody, but if you would become disabled or you have a Roth IRA and you are disabled, you can withdraw your both your earnings and your contributions without penalties or taxes, considering you have your Roth IRA open for five years. Now, here's a good one, qualified education expenses. This you can use on yourself, your spouse, your children, or even your grandchildren. And the five-year rule does not apply for qualified educational expenses. Now, the one thing about it is you will be hit with taxes on this particular one, but you will not have any penalties for withdrawing money for a qualified educational expense from your Roth IRA. Contributions or earnings, it doesn't matter. You can withdraw that money as long as it meets the qualifications for education. Now, what I'm personally doing, not financial advice to you, is I'm actually adding money into a Roth IRA for my children. That way, as it grows over time and it's time for college, they can use some of that money as additional funding for college, while at the same time, the goal would be it out earns the contributions and can not only pay for college, but they get a head start on their retirement at a very young age. Last one in this particular category is medical expenses. So if you have any medical expenses that were unreimbursed medical charges, that exceed a certain percentage of your adjustable gross income, otherwise known as AGI, you can also withdraw those earnings and contributions without penalties, but with taxes. Now that one, you wanna check with your accountant before you mess around with that. In fact, you probably wanna do it for all of these just to make sure you don't get hit with an unnecessary surprise of a penalty or an unnecessary tax based on your particular situation. Now, number five, let's move on to the last one. Now, this one gets me so fired up, so excited about a Roth IRA among any other retirement account. And that is the ability to be able to open them up for your children at any age, as long as they have earned income. Now, let me walk you through this. Let's say you're a freelancer, or maybe you're taking some of the advices here and you're doing some side hustles and you're starting to build up a little bit of a business, which means you might wanna build yourself into a little bit of a company for a lot of different reasons. And let's say you already own a company. Maybe you have an LLC, or maybe you even have a corporation. If you can find work for your children to do, maybe they're helping you organize stuff or cleaning up your office, like my girls clean up my studio from time to time, and that qualifies them to be an employee, which means you can now take a tax write-off by paying them as your employee out of your business revenue that you make, and you can then contribute that money into a Roth IRA for them. It's called a custodial Roth IRA, which means you as the parent or the guardian would own the rights to the Roth IRA until they become of a certain age where the Roth IRA then becomes theirs. Now, what they can do is they can contribute that money that they've earned directly into the Roth IRA up to the maximum of $6,500 or whatever they get paid. That basically means if you only pay them $1,000 a year, they can contribute up to $1,000 a year into their Roth IRA. Now, you can't all of a sudden like contribute more for them because that would not be right. They have to do exactly what their earned income is. So if you're gonna pay them only $1,000 for the year, they can contribute up to $1,000 for the year into the Roth IRA. Always make sure you check though your local and federal tax rates. So even though they're considered a child, they are getting earned income. You gotta make sure that you follow all the tax rules. Always check with your accountant. But that's another great way to start building up a Roth IRA for your kids on top of the fact that they may receive an inheritance if you grow it over a long period of time. But if you're stuck on how do I make sure that my Roth IRA actually does get a lot of earnings over time, you're going to want to make sure that you really focus on the right type of investment within the IRA, something like an ETF, like I mentioned earlier. And the best way to do that is to check out this video next, and we'll see you on the next video.